and thank you, Rich Gearman, for that absolutely captivating speech titled How to Move a Pool Table. The strengths that I noticed right away is that you are this accomplished Toastmaster who has a lot of experience because the strengths definitely indicated things that I've learned here in the club versus things I was naturally doing when I was speaking publicly. For example, the variety of hand gestures that you used that moved into actual body gestures when you were doing the floor jack example. A full body, body gesture is something I don't normally see a lot in the club. Eye contact, you made great eye contact with people throughout the room, throughout your entire speech. I also noticed another thing that was in the indication of an accomplished Toastmaster was when you were pointing to the whiteboard and you were using it as an example to show us remind us of what a chalkboard was made of and how heavy the pool table is, you always pointed backwards, but you never turned around and gave us your back, which is something we often learn in the club here at, at Toastmasters. Your speech was informative, which I appreciated. It was humorous, especially the line about exercising back beer muscles versus back muscles. I enjoyed <laughs> that. And I could also hear the audience identifying with you throughout the speech. In particular, I noticed it when you were talking about heavy objects and trucks moving over asphalt. And not only were people shaking their head, but they were actually saying yes and, and, and recognizing that they do know exactly what you're talking about when you use that as an example. In terms of suggestions for improvement, I like to comment usually on the opening. I don't know if it's because I was an evaluator, but I missed your opening completely. So it wasn't, for me, something that stuck with me. So one suggestion for improvement could be a more memorable opening. In general, maybe even a more distinct opening body and conclusion. It's a little tricky because you are telling a story and so it's not a speech that falls into one of the general categories like an informative speech, um, but it does, it does, even when it's a story, require sort of a distinct opening body and conclusion. So that could be something that you could draft out a little more detail in, so we're aware of what those parts are in your speech. But again, to go back to the strengths, the closing, humorous, it was, it was really wonderful that you went back to one of my favorite comp points in the speech, which was the beer muscle thing, and that you, you concluded by saying, it's time to exercise those beer muscles, and we really saw and felt your joy with having finally received this pool table after the entire afternoon's events. And so I enjoyed it very much. I'm really glad that I was here and that I could participate in this contest and hear you speak. Thank you very much.